Hi there, hi friend, and welcome to the Worship Cafe, the anniversary edition of the audio podcast. This is your host Olan, and it's a privilege to be connecting with you this week. Big shout outs and thank you to everyone who's reached out to us and congratulated us. It's the first anniversary of the podcast. Believe it or not, 365 days gone by, and we're really thankful to God for your support. It will not be the same podcast without you. So my name's Olan, as I said, and I'm just a singer-songwriter, home studio producer, worship leader, and uh, this guy who's just enthusiastic about life. I'm on a journey to document my progress and also hopefully help someone. And so today we're talking very quickly about this very simple theme, learning to walk. Learning to walk. Now, case in point, I remember the first time that my daughter walked. Uh, it was on the day we celebrated her first birthday. Now she'd been doing everything else except walking, and you know it was like as young parents, you wanna, you wanted to walk, you wanted to do everything. It's like, oh, you're following the charts. You should be doing this by now. But it's like everyone's like, she's fine. Don't sweat it. And on the day we were celebrating, she just she just got up and she just walked. First feeble step, and then the next, and then the next, and that was it. I was like, wow. Just like that, just enough time for me to bring up my phone and record it. And she made it across the room with a cup in her hand. You know, it's like, wow, you didn't even do this, you know, in in, in, in short bus. You did it one, one big shout, one big step for the Lord, you know. And it's like, wow, go girl, go girl. And I remember the feeling of excitement just, you know, seeing her take those feeble steps. And today she's bouncing all over the place, you know, and you think, wow, such is the power of learning to walk. I've seen other children learn to walk, you know, some start really early as, as early as like nine months. They've, you know, they first learned to, to sit and to crawl and then to grab onto things and then to start walking. So they take two steps, they grab onto a table, two steps, they grab onto a chair, another two steps, they hold onto an adult in the room and they follow them around until they learn to walk. In the process though, they stumble sometimes, miss their steps, miscalculate and they fall. And sometimes it's really hard. You know, they crash to the ground and they cry and they get cuddled and they pick themselves up and then they walk again. They learn to do it again. And you think, what? This child, that was a nasty fall. But they're like, yeah, 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 don't worry. He'll get over it. And then the child gets up and just does it again unscathed. You know, such is the beauty of childhood and such is the thing that we forget when we get older. So now we're older, we're Starting businesses, starting a podcast, you're starting, you know, production, you're opening your own outfit, or you're a singer, songwriter, you want to write songs for people now, and you've done the first one or two gigs, and it looks like it's hard, or, you know, the tr- it's not gaining traction. You put out a song, and nobody's really liking it, and you think you want to just pack it up now. I'd like you to remember that young child that tried and fell. In fact, remember the young you, because it's weird. We don't remember many of the stuff that we went through. When we're older, we just sweep it under the carpet. For us, it feels like, yeah, that's normal. A child will learn to walk when it's time to walk. But no, not everyone learns to walk when it's time to walk. But those of us who do have to go through this process. And sometimes it's painful because we fall down, we get picked up or we pick ourselves up. We fall down again. And God knows how many failed attempts we have made at this until we got perfect at walking. And now we don't even have to think about it. We just get up. I want to go get coffee. Get up. I want to go do this. Get up. I want to get out of bed. You just do. You're not even thinking about it. You're just doing because you've internalized the process. All your body muscles are working together with your brain to make this happen. Much like a reflex action. You know, you just think it and you do it. But it wasn't so in the beginning. None of us was born walking. None of us was born with the ability to walk. None of us was born with the ability to run. None of us was born with all of these things. We've all had to learn how to do these things, which is beautiful. It's beautiful because it means that you and I have got hope. You know, you may not have started out being this athletic person, but here you are today. That's what you are. And if you persevered like you persevered in your younger self, you can make the most out of this creative endeavor that you are involved with. You know, case in point was Abraham. Now, if you don't know who Abraham, we call him the father of faith. Now, Abraham had a short name in the beginning. He was called Abram, which meant father of a few. Okay. And then 
God says, no, I want you to change your name to Abraham, which means father of nations, father of many, father of thousands. And the, the big joke there was that Abraham had no children. Okay, at this time, he had no children. And yet God was saying, change his name. Uh, Abraham, he obeyed God anyway. It's just like, you know, in our day, you're calling yourself MD CEO of this production outfit, you know, and you nobody really likes your productions yet. Or you're that, you know, inspirational singer-songwriter who nobody has heard of. Or you're that person who writes songs for people. You don't even have a hit to your name yet. You know, but it's in not being discouraged by this. It's in soldiering on in faith that we actually learn to walk, you know. Now, I'm not saying that just call yourself a name just because and deceive yourself or delude yourself. No, I'm saying walk in the reality of what God has called you. You know, faith call it those things that are not as though they were. And our father is a deep God. He's calling out to us. He said, deep calls unto deep. He said, but I don't feel like I'm deep. He said, exactly. It's in obeying my voice. It's in stepping out in faith that you realize the depth of, you know, who you are. You know, you realize how, how deep my treasure in you is, how grace, how awesome it is. And uh, it's a case in point because I, 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 I look, you know, sometimes I internalize the process of learning to, to walk. For me, it's like learning to write, learning to organize myself in business, learning to position myself, learning to use my time wisely so that I can be available for my family first and then to the people who need me to be able to run this podcast. This one year has been a massive learning curve. You know, things I've gotten to understand and to know, professionals that I have met, people that I've worked with, the networking that has happened in this space. It's amazing. You know, that wouldn't have happened if I stayed in my comfort zone. So I knew I was telling you about Abraham. So Abraham didn't just change his name. He heard a voice that says, come out of your father's house, come out of your kindred, come out of your inheritance, come out of your comfort zone, you know, and maybe that's what someone here needs to hear. Come out and start afresh. But after obeying God in this way, you know, he gets to a point where God say to him, now, Abraham, you followed me all this while. Now, I want you to walk before me and be perfect. Now, Abraham was like, walk before you? He said, yes, walk before me, not behind me, you know, not beside me, but walk before me. I've got your back, Abraham. I want you to demonstrate to me if you have internalized the process, if you've internalized the process that makes you able to actualize destiny. So you've been following me. That's great. Now act out what you've learned. Walk before me and be perfect. Okay, take that step in faith. And some people are like, uh, just like Abraham would have been like, God, I've been following you, but this is a no new level. You mean I need to step out? It's like, yes, yeah, step out. It's, that reminds me of what, you know, uh, was, was it was that the, the, the apostle? It must have been Peter who says, Jesus, here's Jesus coming on the water. If it's you, tell me to come out. Tell me to come forward. If it's you, Jesus, walking on the water, tell me to come and join you. Uh, what, what a level of faith. And Jesus says, come, bid you come. And he came. He walked on water. So Jesus wasn't the only one who walked on water. Peter did the same as well. However, you know, at some point he took his eyes of Jesus and started to consider, you know, the boisterous waves. Like, Jesus, are you looking? At, uh, it's, a, it's a rough sea. And then his faith began to fail and he began to sink and Jesus grabbed him. You know, just such is it. As, 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 as all the people, we get carried away with the noise of the troubles around business and the troubles around creation and the knockbacks we receive in life you know the negative feedback people don't like your song people don't like your writing style people don't like your production people don't like your painting whatever it is your investments are not yielding they're slow to get off the ground you've made two or three dud trades and it's like it's becoming harder and harder you want trying to explain yourself but the more you try the more doors are shut at you you know don't take it personal Okay, if you get carried away, just like Peter got carried away, then you'll begin to sink. But if you keep your eyes focused on the Lord and walk the walk, as long as his focus was on the Lord and he was walking the walk, the waves were there doing their thing. He was doing his thing. He was fine. You know, God said to Abraham, Abraham, I've got your back. You walk. I've got your back. And that's the word, I think, for someone today. You just need to hear it. Okay, you've tried or you're thinking of trying 
Stop thinking now, it's time to start. If we didn't start this podcast one year ago, we wouldn't be celebrating the landmark today. And it wouldn't have been the same because I would have missed the opportunity of connecting with you on this one-to-one level. Or maybe not one-to-one, but at least you can hear my voice and I hope to be able to hear from you too. So it's life, it's a journey. We're all learning, we're all growing, we're moving together, hopefully towards destiny's call. But I'm urging you, it's time to learn to walk. In trying to put together this edition of the podcast, some of my tools began to misbehave. I recorded this edition of the podcast four times, four separate times, but I'm I'm, I'm glad I'm over it because what's more important for me is getting the message out there, you know, and that there'll be challenges, there'll be knockbacks, technical difficulties, you know, knowledge gaps. That's a part of the process. Remember that child that learned to walk and fell and got up and fell again? Yeah, we fall down, but we get up. Mm -hmm. That's the story of our lives. You know, it's just that when we get older, we sort of forget the stuff that really got us where we are. As young children, as toddlers, we were very advanced at just getting on with it. You know, no matter how many times life knocked us down, we just got up and did it again. We just got up and did it again. We just got up and did it again. And that's exactly how we need to be. As children before the Lord, as his vessels, as people as, you know, striving towards a destiny call. So just like Abraham obeyed, you and I too can obey. And let's begin to trust God for the open doors. He has opened the door and he's saying to us, walk through it. We need a level of faith to walk through it and do so consistently. I've been your boy. Olan, and this has been the Worship Cafe. I hope this has helped someone. Okay, it's time to get active. It's time to get out there and try the things that we've trusted and prayed and believed God for all this time. It's time to put, you know, some action into play. I hang around people who shout, I receive, I receive all the time. That's great. Shout, I receive, but I'd rather shout, I receive and I do because it's in the doing that the results come. Faith without works is dead. So let's see your works and as you begin to do them, I hope that, and I'm actually praying that your testimony will be the next one we celebrate. All right. I look forward to connecting with you. So please follow me on Instagram at Oland for Life, on Twitter at Oland for Life, on Facebook at Oland Music Band page and on YouTube, on the YouTube channel Arc Arc Studios. Please leave us a comment, like and follow, and I will speak to you soon. God bless you and have a wonderful week. Bye bye now.